something you want to add, uh, I'd like to hear from you. 800-259-9231. And guys, I see the phone system's not on. So, okay, great. All right, so reboot that uh, system for me. Thank you. All right, there we go. 800, if you tried to call in, the phone system was off. 800-259-9231. We'll get you up and on the air. Okay, <clears throat> maybe I should go do a special report on this. This is such a big subject. And then air it maybe Sunday. <clears throat> that way I can really give you the quotes and really go over it properly. Because I, I said I'd covered it now. And then it's such a big subject that let me just give you a little little hors d'oeuvre on this front. I went and saw the movie Noah last night. I, I thought it was very weird, very interesting film. I would probably see it again just to take notes. I don't know if I liked it. It was definitely thought-provoking. It overall, for the general unwashed masses, had an anti-human, <laughs> eugenics-based, environmental fascist bent. That meat-eating is bad, uh, that, uh, you know, humans are hurting the earth, which, which from perspectives, you can say that's true. You can say there's too many people in some areas. You can say humans are destructive. That's all honest. We do some bad things. My dog can also, you know, urinate on the rug, but I love him. So, so there are problems. But the idea that we're ugly, we're bad, we should all die, that's the message sold. In the Bible, if you read uh, in, and I've got the Bible verses here, if you read what it says in the first few books of the Bible, it was because genetically humans had had sex with the Nephilim and had been with the sons of men. And their genetics uh, was not pure. Noah was the only one pure in their generations. And the movie has space aliens Basically, fallen angels who've been punished by the creator into becoming earth spirits instead of fire spirits. as very new aging and occult. Uh, and, and they're not really fallen angels. They helped man and gave man knowledge. And, and, and man was like a, a spirit as well. I mean, I'm spoiler alert here, obviously. Uh, and I don't think it's biblically accurate. <clears throat> but it's a lot more accurate than what you get in some mainline Catholic church or Baptist church where people in the last 300 years just can't deal with what's in the Bible. I mean, in Ezekiel, there's giant burning flying saucers with guys with crystal helmets walking off of them and stuff. I mean, there's, 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 you know, 14 foot, you know, sons of sons of the angels having sex with women. So God destroys all the humans on the earth. And, and, and you know, you could say, well, is this real? Is this not real? Well, the point is you can't sit there and say you believe the Bible. And then you know, like these preachers say, well, that's an interpretation or that's an allegory. But then the same preachers will tell you the whole Bible's literal. Nothing's an allegory unless they say it's an allegory. Because they can't deal with what's in the Bible. But look at what the elite's doing today, trying to change the genetics of humans, trying to cross us with animals, trying to defile the genetics. This is going on today. So it's just very interesting how everything in the Bible just keeps happening over and over again. What you see John talk about on the Isle of Patmos is happening now. The Bible's profound, folks. You just cannot deny it. So I went and saw the movie Noah, and uh, I would say that um, it's very well done. It's got a pro-human bent from Cain, uh, where Cain, you know, is all about men's will and building things, so he's bad. That is not the biblical representation of Cain, and it really demonizes libertarian ideas. Uh, but I think the makers of the film meant well. I mean, it has some good messages overall. Uh, the Nephilim were the offspring of sons of God and daughters of men, according to Genesis 6, 4, and giants who inhabited Canaan, according to Numbers 13, 33. A similar biblical Hebrew word with different vowel sounds used in Ezekiel 32, 27 to refer to dead Philistine warriors. Well, that was the word as some of the Philistines had the bloodline of Cain, and so they were like 12 feet tall. And this is, this is in the Roman histories as well, folks. And you know, you look at some of the people like in Slovakia and Serbia, you know, the average person is like 6'4". So, you know, I mean, a lot of this could just be, you know, uh, more legends or whatever. I, I'm not even sitting here saying that. But then the preachers can't have it both ways and say it's legends, but then it's not legends. You see, you see what I'm saying? And then it just goes over uh, the giants. And, and, and that's basically in the movie. 
Now it came about when men began to multiply on the face of the land and the daughters were born to them that the sons of God saw the daughters of men were beautiful. See, the sons of God were the bloodline that God didn't want to destroy. Then there were the daughters of men and they took wives for themselves, whomever they chose. Then the Lord said, my spirit shall not strive with man forever because he is also in flesh. Nevertheless, his days shall be 120 years before men were living longer, if you believe the Bible. So the genetics also degraded. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days and also afterward where the sons of God came in the daughters of men and they bore children to them. They were the mighty men who were of old, men of renown. The second in Numbers 13, 32, 33, NAS, were the 12 spies report on the fearsome giants. So they gave out to the sons of Israel a bad report of the land where they had spied out, saying, the land through which we have gone in spying out and the land that devours its inhabitants and all the people whom we saw in them were of giant size. They also, we saw the Nephilim, the sons of Anak, are part of the Nephilim. And we became like grasshoppers in our own sight, and so we were in their sight. And it just goes on. So that's what it deals with, and it's a very interesting movie. Uh, but the overall message for the Dumbos out there uh, is humans are bad, and humans destroy everything, and, you know, cities are bad, and science is, you know, technology is bad, and no almost kills uh, you know the the, the 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 two daughters that are born uh, because uh, you know he thinks God wants humans to be removed from the earth and it's kind of like Bill Gates is the new Noah and he's doing what he has to do to remove the scourge from the planet Earth of those that are not pure. So it's the same old story, eugenics. Everything is eugenics. Plato, three thousand years ago, or a little less, it was all about kill almost everybody but the elite. I mean this this is what governs the debate. So whether you believe it's true or not, the point is it's the debate going back 6,000 years. It's what goes on. It's what's discussed. This is what the elite talk about. We talk about it. We'll be right back. If you are at Fort Hood and want to give us your take on the shooting, 800-259-9231. Briefly here, folks, um, we are listener supported. The great videos, books, pro-gun t-shirts, high-quality supplements, everything available at InfoWarsStore.com is what funds this operation. We try to bring you the very best cutting edge products. Shop with the good guys. The new April magazine is out about the war on women. Great to give the women in your lives or women that are being brainwashed by the system. You can buy them in bulk at cost. Infowarsstore.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. And by the way, I didn't take a full week off for a spring break, but I'm taking a day here, a day there to be with my children. Um, David Knight's gonna be doing the show tomorrow and Sunday. And after that, I'll be back for a long time, not taking time off. But I'm going to go shoot special reports that are going to premiere tomorrow and on Sunday as well. So you're, it's, it's going to be some really power-packed transmissions, and David does a great job. So that's coming up. But I want to thank all of you for your support and making the transmission possible. For myself, my family, and all the freedom lovers out there, I salute the Info Warriors out there for spreading the word and financially supporting us by buying the high-quality products at InfoWarsStore.com. Uh, let's go to uh, Joe in Colorado, was a Columbine survivor. Uh, you, uh, what is your take on all this? My take on, on what's going on right now, basically, everything you're saying is correct. Um, these drugs are just warping people's minds. And um, it's just got to, you, somebody's got to say something and get the word out about this because uh, it's getting out of hand. I've seen it happen in my own community. Uh, we have the tragedy here. On 420, I was a student there that day. I was in the cafeteria when it happened, and uh, wow, you know, I got out of there alive. And it's just been a battle ever since. I've been on a lot of medicines myself, and uh, I've seen what they can do, and and they're just really toxic and deadly for your system. Well, the inserts say that. I mean, it's not like it's even a mystery. And, and, and what do you think of the press conference that none of the media was going to ask if they were on drugs? So our reporters did. Well, they've already, it's a pattern that they've already established. You know, Columbine, I've seen the media just bombard the school and the students and everybody. And I think since then, that's kind of a blueprint for uh, how they go along with everything else that they report. 
up to this point. It's just that they don't care about the people that are uh, hurt by this. They don't care about the people later on in the community that have to deal with the scars. And I have so many people I know that commit suicide after Columbine. There's so many other people that were lost after the tragedy. Oh, I know. It's been terrible. Well, take and, the amb uh, I mean, take Ambien. It says it makes you sleepwalk, uh, kill people, not know who you are. And the guy was bare minimum on that. Go ahead. Sorry. Alex, I got a buddy that just got locked up in the uh, the mental hospital, believe it or not, because he's a bipolar, and he's, you know, he wouldn't hurt a hair on a, on your head. He's the kindest person you'd ever meet, but he, they got him on all these uh, drugs. They got him on lithium right now. Oh, boy. And it's just frying his brain, and uh, I can see it. His hand's shaking. He can't talk very, very well anymore, and he got out of there, and he's still depressed, and, you know, I'm just sticking with him, but... I gave him all the information. Well, he need, I'm not his doctor, but uh, the statistics are there. He needs to get to a people's pharmacy type facility. He needs to get to one of those compounding pharmacists with herbs and stuff. And, and the herbs in double-blind studies are the only way to go off these drugs. Once they put you on the drugs, they're very addictive, and, and, they're, and, and people have got to replace it with something. Uh, we're going to be right back in over.